Here's a little ST90 stress relief. I know the holidays can string a lot of people out. Here's your ticket. What's happening, boys? It is Black Friday, day after Thanksgiving. This is the first bike of the day I got to ride. It is a classic original paint Honda ST90 that's in basically mechanically brand new condition. It, the odometer shows 4,571 miles, but the motor itself only has about 10 miles on it. It's a completely brand new engine, uh, including the engine cases. We went through everything on the bike, and I'll go over the details with the work order. Uh, and it runs, It's there's no vibration, and it's got a lot more torque than your average tired 47-year-old uh, mini trail because the motor is brand new and it's tuned to perfection by Jeff Castine. Listen to this thing purr. Shifts and runs like brand new because the transmission has been completely rebuilt also. Let me grab the work order. Started by removing the engine from the frame and realized that the crankcases needed to be replaced. So we got a, a, a complete set of, completely dismantled the engine and replaced the engine cases, dismantled the tranny and repaired the transmission, replaced a couple of the gears. We bored the cylinder 0.075 over and put a brand new piston, rings, top end, bearings uh we reground the valve seats and um went through the entire motor we replaced the kickstart shaft the kick lever is is been replaced the shifting forks have been replaced the inlet valve and exhaust valve are brand new um the cam chain is brand new and the piston kit included piston and rings and a 0.075 bore and hone on the cylinder all new oil seals all new gaskets and a replacement set of crankcases which were uh painted those are now this is all oem honda uh, crank parts and inter internal engine parts. Uh, we could have bought one of those Pitster Pro motors for 400 bucks, but it's not a Honda. They're made in China. This is a genuine, probably one of the most durable motors Honda's ever made. And you can hear it purring in the background. It runs runs beautifully. Uh, we also put a new OEM ignition switch with a key, which that costs us 70 bucks just for that. A uh, new battery in it, a new spark plug, change the oil, of course, new fuel lines and clamps, uh, new chain adjusters, I went through the brakes, completely dismantled the uh, uh, wheels and brakes and put new uh, brake shoes, cleaned out the, the drums, uh, prepped all that. We put a brand new front tire on it. You can see it still has the nubs on it. Um, put a new front brake cable on it. Uh, new The front tire is a trail wing. That's a proper Honda front tire. And it had a nice knobby on the back, so we left that on there, so it's good for off-road. Uh, it has a new NOS Honda ignition coil. That costs us almost 100 bucks, 89 bucks plus shipping. Uh, and we also replaced the carburetor, brand new carburetor and a brand new clutch lever. So quite a bit of parts on this one. I think once we got into it, there was no turning back. And uh, we put probably more into it than we should have. We also went into the detail shop for a full steam clean, rotisserie detail, and uh, polishing the chrome. The uh, engine cases were painted. The cylinder has been painted. That was when it was out of the out of the frame. All the chrome was cleaned and polished. Um, it's just a beautiful piece, man. It's, and it's original too, original Honda motor and original paint on the bike so uh definitely a classic these are getting really rare most of them got ridden into the ground so on, that, that's the good news it's been totally rebuilt the bad news is i have a service order here for parts and labor of two thousand three hundred ninety one dollars might as well round it up to twenty four hundred so quite a bit of money was put into this one here guys uh if you zoom in on the steering stem you can see the production date on it was february of 1973 so that's a 47 year old paint job on on the bike it has a little patina as you'd expect but it's original and it's classic the neutral light works the headlight works um just a cool piece we kind of had to draw a line in the sand because we put so much in the mechanicals of it i mean a typical frame off frame off restoration on one of these starts at about five grand to do a concourse frame re restoration so we didn't want to get so deep into it that we would have had to charge too much for it so this will have a low reserve uh, not much more than we invested into it in, in parts and labor. So if you're looking for something that's a daily rider, this would be perfect. And it's only going to go up in value. So they're a lot of fun. Um, pretty much bulletproof, indestructible. Now that the motor's all redone and it's got a new battery, it's ready to roll. Junior, you rode this thing earlier. Is there anything you'd like to a add about it? Healthy. You know, just been rebuilt. Full strong. I'll ride around a little bit. Clean what? piece. Want to do a drive-by on the street? Sure. You probably should. You want to ride down there? The parts about these is they have enough torque to ride two up. Junior weighs, two of us weigh about 440 pounds uh, with, with uh, 
some gear on and whatnot. And uh, in any event, um, it helps us plenty of power. And they're street legal, so you can ride it off-road and you can ride it Two, one. Oh, hand him off the start. Oh, look like that's T90. That was close. He's pretty fast, but I got him at the end. <laughs> Much easier than pedaling. I'm too old for pedaling. So, you know, basically, <coughs> they made a trail version of this too, which, I, believe it or not, that's in the very next video we're going to do, is the Trail 90. And that one has more of an off-road penchant. This one is set up for uh, street and trail. Oh, shifter. So there's no clutch. So it's really anybody could ride this thing. If you're looking to get a beginner's bike that um, just learn how to ride, this is perfect. You just kick it down for first, second, and third, and then you kick the back to go up or use your heel toe either way. 